We're rolling. This is April O'Neil. And Vernon Fenwick. Reporting live from City Hall, where a real-life drama is taking place. I'm all the way up. Hey! What up guys, your boy Jackie Dream Mode, and guys, I am back. I've been a little bit busy, with work got a little bit hectic, but I am back, and back to creating. Now, today's video is not going to be a dial. Today's going to be a repaint. Now, before I get to the item that I'm going to repaint, I want to talk about the inspiration, the person that inspired me, and this guy's name is Zilu1984, Tom. This guy is from London. He's in our community, and he is known for doing amazing custom figurines. He does repaints the sculpting of different types, but this guy is definitely a master of his craft. Now, uh, a, a recent build that he posts that has been going a little bit viral, he made his own custom Channel 6 news van for April O'Neil and for Vern. Man, when I saw that build, I was like, man, I gotta try this. I reached out to him just to give him props and talk to him. Guy is a really cool individual in our community. and. That is what today's video is going to be about, is customizing or creating that news van. So to create that news van, you need a base. And this is the item that I'm going to be customizing. Boom! Here you go, guys. Here's the 2006 Kaobanga Carl van from the animated movie in 2006. Now, this is what he used to customize or create that news van pretty big like the figures fit in here and i thought man it's really it's really hard to find a vehicle for our figurine especially our ninja turtles and this one is a really good van to have in your collection and we're going to be using this van to create the channel 6 news van all right guys so i'm going to be going over everything and hopefully you guys can recreate one of your own i would like to say is that if you guys find one of these guys, man, jump on it because it's really hard to find nowadays. A lot of people that are finding these complete are asking a lot of money for us. But yeah, guys, so this was today's video is going to be about. Is I'm going to be customizing this van to turn it into the Channel 6 News van for April O'Neil. All right, guys? So let's get to it. All right, guys, so normally I start out with a sketch or a plan, and I got lucky. I forgot that I have all the animation cells. So here is April's van. So I'll put it right there so you guys can take a screenshot. And here's the back of the van with all the equipment. And you got the dashboard. And in regards to the van, the van has a couple compartments, the front. This guy that's gonna have to come off. There's a side door right here where you're able to see the inside, but there's this is wheel here. Alright. I don't know. I like this. This is pretty cool. So I don't know if I'm gonna maybe utilize it, you know. Um yeah, this is the only way right now you can see the inside. And the back, this is closed in, like this is sealed, this is not cut, so I'm gonna have to cut this. So I'm excited guys, so let's get to it, alright? All right, guys, so we're going to take all the screws. Just make sure you keep track of all your screws. Sometimes people lose them, so that's about it. So let's have fun. Here's everything, just took this whole guy apart. I'm gonna tell you guys this, if you guys are gonna try to do this, patience. This mother is hard to take apart. There's secret compartments on how to take certain things out. The one that I wanna point out is this guy right here. Okay, this, these all had screws. They were easy to take out. And then there was this one right here, you're like, wait a minute, there's no screw there. There is a screw there. What I didn't, I couldn't tell was that there was a, there's a plate here that they glue. So if I remove this plate, you will see the top of the screw. 
This was clever for them, but a pain in the ass for me to figure out. So I ended up pulling it out and it came out, luckily, but there's a lot of secret ways of, like whoever made this made it where like they want you not to take this thing apart. Some challenges when you take this guy apart is he's not that easy. He wasn't. Now there's a bunch of stickers on these things and it's old and dirty so I'm gonna have these guys dunk in water, hot water. You can see they're dunked in water and hot water and what I'm doing here is just to soften the stickers. So now that I have cleaned every piece, I'm gonna review it and see you know wherever there's gunk left and here you can see there's some gunk from the sticker. So I use this goof off as just takes off any kind of adhesive tar uh, leftover so you just spray it on there and then just scrub it scrub it until you feel like everything is off I, I'm doing this just because when, when you prime it you want everything to be smooth and the prime will surface anything that has texture and, you, and then you'll be able to see those uh, imperfections that you probably won't like on your on your vehicle so I definitely recommend use goof off until it's completely off so I'm gonna be using my wood burner and it's a solder tool it comes with different tips you could buy this at Hobby Lobby highly recommend it uh, so I'm going to be using this to cut plastic and I'm going to be cutting these doors in the back of the van but right now you got to get this really really hot um, and I'm also wearing a mask just because burning plastic fumes cannot be wouldn't be really good to inhale so I'm covering my face right now so right now I have it in a really hot temperature let's see if it's ready to cut be careful you may make mistakes like I did right here so I'm gonna have to uh, sand that down and then use epoxy to kind of like resurface it again right here mm. got too hot it started warping this area here so be careful guys it's kind of ugly right this is kind of ugly right now so what I'm gonna do is I got all these different types of sands, sand blocks, and basically I'm gonna sand all these imperfections down. So here we go. All right, guys. So it's the next day. It's morning, and so I had a couple of hiccups, and I had to put epoxy so now it's sealed strong yeah i ended up breaking this piece and this piece got weak as well so adding epoxy sealed it and now it's back to being strong so just be careful because this part was definitely challenging because you know things get warm and things get weak but i got the doors removed they're sanded as well and now I can make the door open. Before I even get into uh, priming this piece, what you see me here is that I've actually, I've masked the wheel, because I want to keep the black, but I want to remove the star. Right now there's a, a star that's engraved on the rim, and what I'm, the, the goal is to do this right here. This is the goal. So what I did is I got epoxy, and just massaged it down until the the star the star is completely gone and I'm not, I'm not talking about just the color I'm talking about the actual um, the carving see how it goes so I just get some water and I just start massaging it massage it down until like you can actually see the 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 rim itself because you don't want to change the shape either so 
Alright guys, so here's everything. Everything is primed. Now the only thing that's pending is I gotta make the hinges for these guys to fit on the back of the, of the van. But besides that, I can go forward with uh, painting certain details before I start painting the van. So I'm gonna save the van for the end. But So now I'm gonna go into the details. <music> Got the hinges, and I was looking at how they did it, and this hinge right here. So I'm gonna shave the teeth, and then just add this one over here, and this one is gonna be like that. So let's just start sanding down the teeth from the Legos. the top one on this side of the of the of the van I'm using this side of the hinge now because it pops out I have to cut a little bit deeper and cut this in the middle in half so that it could um, fit snugly on this side okay and and in regards to the other hinge, this line right here is where the door meets. Now, I had to cut a little bit more so that this piece will fit in here. So, as I... Put it in there you can see that it will be able to fit in there perfectly snugly all right guys so yeah so this is where i'm at and got the door working it's pretty pimp i have half of the one hinge on one side and then the other one in the back of the console the dashboard i can actually take this out too so i can show you all right end up figuring it out so i put it inside i'm using epoxy to kind of really reinforce it so you need a lot of patience, okay? But the cool part about this piece, that's why I'm recommending, is because you can just take this out in case with no problem and then snap it back with no problem. The chair that goes in the back of the van, there's this um, rod for the wheel and they made this cover. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste this, so, but it's in the center, so it doesn't give me enough space so I can put a console on the side. So what I'm gonna do is just move this guy to the to the left. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop half of this so that I can at least make myself some space. So remember, it was before it was like this, right? It's in the center, so it doesn't give you enough space for a console. But if you move, move to the right, now I got space to do the console right here. And then I don't really have to worry about this this pipe right here because the console will cover it so so on top of the passenger side of the van the top of the van there's this little satellite dish so yesterday when i went to uh to get some lego pieces uh sticking the head and found these right here so what i did is i got a hinge and i broke it in half and then i got this piece here that i really wouldn't know what to what to identify but what i what i liked about it was that it has a curve this piece right here where I could connect the back of this big looking dish all right and then the antenna and boom we got ourselves a satellite dish that we could adjust I'm gonna focus on the camera so I found this stand from one of my LED lights and then I had this uh, pipe that I used from a dollar store. You guys have seen me use this before. It actually fits really well. 
dollar store LED lights, shave the inside and get it to fit. So what I'm gonna do is just put that in there and voila, already got a base. This spatula here, um, but what I like about it is that it's thin, but it's also pretty strong. And what I'm gonna do is end up chopping up this part right here. And what I want is this. So it's gonna be like a chair. Okay. All right. That worked. So did a couple of things off the camera. Created the the the. I guess the cushion of the chair, right? This is just gonna be placed right here. And I also added this platform so it could hold the chair. And I'm having this part lean on it and then I'm gonna just chop off this part right here. So now let's glue it. And now I'm just gonna let that sit there. And then continue with the rest, okay? Alright guys, so next up, we're going to be working on the camera, and I got some Legos. And I did this just to kind of get the proportions, just to see if it looks right. And this is the size that I wanted. Now, I'm not going to be using the Legos. What I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be making this out of wood. I put a piece of foam in there so that I could insert it on the cylinder. So what I did is I put up I put epoxy in the bottom and I forgot that I had some faulty magnets that don't really um, magnetize that well, but they weigh. So that's giving me the weight that I need. Let's see. Ta-da! Look at that. Man, that was a natural reaction. <laughs> oh, that feels so good when I able to accomplish something. Um, the lens, of course, in the front, and then add the details on the on the top. Unique genius is our best hope for bringing peace to a vast and troubled galaxy. Uh, up, we're gonna work on is this lever. I added this uh, wheel. Uh, you know, kind of like the tripod. You move the the camera with that wheel, but it also has a handle. So, got some wire. Started bending it to kind of look like a handle. The handle, I'm gonna use electrical tape. Next up now, we have to stick this in here. All right guys, so I got some wire that I cut into strips. These are the antennas that are gonna go on top of the, the news van. Now, using this tool right here, this is a good one. For bending, and then this one is really good for cutting. Squeeze that, <clears throat> bend. Maybe right there, and then go. Boom. Oh. All right. All right. And there you go. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so I'm getting a epoxy sculpt and mixing them together. Alright, so mission accomplished. Now I'm just I'm having it like this just so that it could dry right. Uh, the epoxy sculpt. Alright guys, so next up is the painting. So what I'm doing here is I just finished masking all the parts that require a painting and the painting that I'm talking about is the blue, the exterior of this truck. So I bought sky blue and I bought spa blue. And now that I actually did a test here, I think I'm gonna go with the spa blue because it's a lot more accurate to this animated cell from the cartoon. Alright, so now that my pieces are already painted, kinda of forgot to do the holes. Now, what I just did right now is that I used my Dribble and made a, made, a, made a hole in there deep enough for, it, for this to be able to grab. So, now I can put the antenna in here and it will hold. 
Okay. Now for this hole right here, we're gonna take advantage and put two antennas there. So what I did is I ended up cutting a piece of foam. We were able to slide it in. And obviously I already started just kind of sanding it down and shaping it so that it fits in there snug right there. Booyah. And it worked. All right guys, so as you can see, I've already painted the, the whole thing is blue. I'm taking off the ma original mask and now I'm masking it again to do the white detail. These areas I'm gonna be using kind of like a light gray and this one I forgot to paint blue, but it's really just getting into the details now. So just masking and going through a second layer of base coats. Quite honest, this is gonna be tedious as hell. So I got me some pens already prepared, real fine, permanent. And what I'm gonna do is make start making a decision on what to define, you know, in these areas. It's pretty cool. So I mean, I'm gonna be doing this to really almost everything. So it's just kind of just taking my time. Let's get to it. Here's the TV. So what I did is like I printed out a picture of April O'Neil from the cartoon and just got different sizes so that I could at least try to get this right. So I was able to print this one. And there we have it. April O'Neil. Alright guys, so next up we're gonna be doing the windows. Now I was trying to think about plastic or something that could imitate glass and it made me think about something that we all have. And sometimes we have our packages that we save. So this is actually from one of the soft cloth of the Nightmare on Elm Street. And this is the back panel. Sacrifice that package just to get obtain this material. Cause this is great for glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut Good, this is good. And there you go, we got one glass. So next up is the inside now. So in here, there's some curvature right here. And so it's not a flat plane. So Legos, Legos help a lot. So I have enough space for April to sit down, enough space for the desk. But then this part right here on this side is short. If you notice the Lego here, it's not perfectly elevated. It's, it's I put this right here, cause right here's where the curvature goes at right now. So that tells me right there that this part right here and this part right here are two different sizes. So the plan is just to make this out of balsa wood. This is a, a lot thinner material and I can at least kind of get more accurate with the build. All right, so here we are. I got the shelf or that unit and then the small TV that goes on top. Ready? So this is where I'm at right now. So I got it going. Now it's time to start painting. So I'm gonna start priming it and then go into the details. able to get these Legos and they kind of look like little film uh, reels like we see right here so I'm thinking about placing it in here now it's a little bit too thick so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually just chop it off right in the middle there we go now I can just glue it right on there now we're getting towards the end and I printed out a whole bunch of cartoon references so that I could 
start populating all these TV sets. So, so yeah, so going on the internet, looking for images, and just just putting a collage of different images on the TV sets. But also, as you can see here, I also printed the Channel 6 logo uh, for the sides and also for the back doors. Look at which one, and I think for this one, I'm going to use Burns. He's uh, yelling at April, so kind of treating this kind of like an intercom like TV that goes inside the van. But yeah, just print them on different sizes just to see which one fits perfectly for the TV or for the consoles. And then paste it and then outline it in black. And that's about it, guys. And then now I'm going to actually put the Channel 6 News uh, logo on the van. And off to the reveal. Come on, Vernon. guys here is a channel 6 news van for April Neal for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon line Whew. guys guys I am so happy that I'm here I'm so happy that I'm, I finished I finished guys this has must have been the most difficult project I have ever worked on on this channel this was testing my patience but I'm so glad that I got to this point and the outcome came out pretty cool and man I want to say first thanks to a couple of people first I want to say thanks to Zilu1984, Oleo Leo, and Minnie and Mike these guys were the first ones to build this and they all warned me that this was going to be a pain in the butt and they were right they were absolutely right but I definitely want to give those guys a shout out because I was able to talk to them get some tips get some heads up and then also they all have their certain uniqueness to their builds and it, it motivated me to do the same so I definitely you're going to see a kind of like a mashup of what they did but also my own take as well now guys number one thing if you guys are going to build this have patience, tons of patience, because this is an old toy, and I was having a hard time taking it apart. Number two, the doors. You know what? I was, I got motivated when I saw Minion Mike's uh, version, because he ended up doing the doors here, and obviously he did the doors on the back, and it just motivated me to do the same thing. Um, but besides that, everything else was pretty cool. So we got the camera, all right? We got the car, and I ended up keeping the wheel. As you guys saw in the video, I kept the wheel because I thought to make it diff to make it a little bit different from what they did, I wanted to utilize this. You know, kind of like when you look at the party wagon, or when you like actually look at the original Channel Six news van. The door comes out, and then a little vehicle comes out as well, like a little camera. So I kind of was inspired by that as well. So I wanted to keep that wheel and move Vern from up here to down here. And it's pretty cool because, you know, think about it. Like, you know, if you're recording live action and on the go, then maybe this will be a great way to record. That's kind of like my little thing or my uniqueness of this build. Um, but, yeah, I thought this would be a pretty cool idea. Uh, two, I, I, actually, I actually went really... Um, pretty authentic with with the council itself so yeah let me you know here you go april's right there 
So the doors do open, right? The doors open, everything opens. Um, was able to utilize all the all the accessories that came with April's two pack and Vern's two pack. So got the microphones, got the cameras, got the chairs, got the consoles inside, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was fun. It was really fun just to kind of get into this. If you can go get additional hinges, cause you will probably break them. So. Um, I ended up going to Bricks and Figs and I ended up getting like over 20 of them because there was like, a, you buy like a whole tub for five bucks. Check out that store. The store is pretty cool. And I was able to utilize uh, other um, other Lego parts like the satellite dish and then also the the reels on the console. Of but guys, overall, this build was fun, challenging. But well worth it with all the great help from these guys. Zilu, Oleo Oleo, and Minion Mike. Hit those guys up. They're cool people in our community. And guys, that's it. I am done with this project. And I hope you guys learned something in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, hit our like button. Write a comment. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm all the way.